Hey guys, in this generally quick tip, we're going to share with you how to create a Microsoft Stream playlist of your recorded meetings within Teams. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this tip. I think you are going to love it. So our friend Mike Thompson shared this on Twitter a few weeks ago, and I wasn't real sure how to put it into context or how to really use it. And then today I was working with Mr. Maine at Greenfield Elementary School, and she's asking me how to really streamline and organize her recorded videos, especially as we continue going remote with some of our students. And I remembered Mike's quick tip and was like, oh my goodness, let's try and create stream channels for your team. The reason I'm super excited about this is it creates a playlist, like a YouTube playlist right here inside my team for my students. And they can click and view the videos and it updates automatically as I update it in stream. So I can keep this very current within the last two weeks. And so my students don't have to dig through files to try and find the videos I just created. And I can keep them organized by subject or by topic or by unit. So we're gonna show you how to do this in four easy steps. Step one, we're going to create a stream channel. Step two, we're going to take that stream channel and share it as a top tab within our team. Step three, we're going to record our team's meetings. And then step four, we're going to place our recorded videos into our stream channel, which will automatically update within our teams. All right, let's show you how. The first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and log in to office.com using your school email. Then you're going to click on stream on the dashboard. If you don't see it, go ahead and click on all apps and then you can click on stream. Once you get into stream, go ahead and click on create and then click channel. Now we're gonna name our channel. You can do it by the subject that you teach or by the unit. Really, um, you get to create it and organize your channels however you would like. I'm just gonna say history on mine and I'm going to choose the team or the group I want to be able to have access to this channel. So I'm going to search for Genelie, and here are my two Genelie teams. I'm going to put it in my Genelie class, and I'm going to say create. So what that means is my Genelie class team has the ability to view any video that I place into my history channel. Right now, I don't have any videos. It's been created. However, I can search for stream videos within my organization, or I can even select here and upload videos from my computer, which I love because I know a lot of our teachers have been pre-recording videos. Go ahead, upload them here, and you can create your own YouTube-style playlist for your students. However, it's safe and secure. Only your students can view it, and you don't have to worry about any ads or suggested videos afterwards. All right, now that we've got it created, let's go ahead and go add it to our team. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Teams, then I'm going to select the channel that I would like to add this stream channel to. So for this one, I'm going to add it to class meetings. I'm gonna press the plus button at the top and search for stream, which mine is right here at the top, but you can also search here. Now I'm going to search for my channel, which the name of my channel was History. And look, there it is right there. I'm gonna click it and it's added it. And I can even change my tab name to whatever I would like. If you want it to post to the channel, go ahead and keep that clicked. I don't like to do that all the time, so I unchecked it and I'm going to click Save. Now it is loading that channel into my team. All right, now we need to go add some videos, right? So throughout the day, as you are recording your Teams meetings videos, they will automatically save inside of Stream. So let's go back to Stream and go to My Content and Videos. So every Teams meeting that I've had and I've clicked Record, all of them are here inside my Stream feed. So whichever one I want to add to that channel now, I'm going to click on this box right here with the plus sign. Hey, here's a free tip too. Um, you can also change the name of your meeting right here by clicking on the edit button. But I'm gonna click the square with a plus sign. And now I'm going to share with channels and I can search for that channel, which mine was history. Oh, there's a history generally class channel. I'm going to say save. Now let's go back to Teams and see if it updated. If I click this little button up here at the top, I can reload the tab so it will refresh it for me. 
and fingers crossed. Yay. There is my video. We love this because you can really customize and keep things current inside your class meetings channels for your students. It's also great for students because watch this. I click it. I stay right here inside of Teams and I'm able to view this video. It really is um, a great feature right here inside of Teams. I hope that this video helps you create Microsoft Stream channels to place inside of your Teams. And I also want to send out a very special thank you to Mr. Main, who is amazing and collaborated with me today to figure it out and really put it into practice. So thank you, Mr. Main, for working with me. And I can't wait to see how you and your team use stream channels this year. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. All right, go and be a different kind of awesome. Bye.